Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video and on this video I think I'm going to be doing a little stealth camp in a community car park in a little Devonshire village. I'm on my way back up north, well I say heading north, heading from South Devon, South Devon to North, North Devon. I'm just heading up that way and I was planning on just driving around the coast a little bit up towards like Willacombe, Ilfracombe, that kind of way. But the weather has turned really, really nasty and horrible. Um, it's really wet, windy, cold. And um, I've just decided to stop off. And I'm just going to stay over here the night. It's quite early. But yeah, I've got to be pretty stealthy because I can't be outside cooking or anything. So I'm going to have to do everything inside. I think it's going to be um, some uh, noodles tonight, maybe in the jet boil, I guess. I'll have to see. I'm going to get in the back. I've had to sort of move everything into the front seat lock. I've had to move all my gear into the front seat. And my little box, my camping box, that's normally on that, that's normally on that back seat there. There, look. Can you see that? You can't see, can you? On that back seat with the tartan blanket on it. That's normally, that's normally there. So I've moved that off. So I'm thinking I go and sit in the back there and try and do some cooking in the back. I've never done that before and I've never really cooked in the car. I've never ever cooked in the car. Most I've ever done is made a cup of tea with a jet boil. So I'm going to try and get in the back now, see if I can get something to eat and see if I can get my head down for the night in here. Do, like I say, do a little stealth camp because there's houses over there. Look, see, we've got houses, look. So... I've got to be quite quiet and stealthy so they don't know I'm in here. I don't I don't even really want the light on in here because they can see in the front. That's why I want to get in the back because the tents are darker in the back. I should get away with it more in there. Unless somebody comes into the car park and walks past, they probably won't know I'm in here. So let me get in the back and see what I can do. Just as so I was getting in the back of the car, a car pulled into the car park. So I quickly had to dive in the back. I've got no bloody room in here. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to move anything. So yeah, I had to just dive in the back. I quickly pulled the little curtains over at the front. I just sort of sat there quite with the light off in the pitch black dark. So yeah, these uh, these little staff camps, they're quite interesting, aren't they? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I haven't even had a chance to open the windows a little bit. I wanted to open the windows a spot, you know, like to, to vent it. I've got to try and sort myself out now and get the car sorted out as well so I can actually cook things are not getting any easier that person was in the car they they locked the car and they went off so i've waited a couple of minutes thought oh okay i'll go out and get my jet boil out the boot because was in the boot and had some other stuff in the boot that i needed to get so i got all that got back in the car couldn't find my phone I was like, where's my phone gone so i lost my phone thought i lost my phone searching around over it then i had to go and get a torch so i'm searching around for my phone then that bloke comes back, comes back to his car, goes into his car, unlocks it, goes in, comes back out, walks off, then walks back again, and then walks over to me and goes, oh, it's raining a lot, isn't it, tonight? He goes, it's really bad, the rain, and just stood there, started talking to me, and I thought, is this guy just being nosy, is he? Because he's obviously thinking, who's this guy in the car park, or is he just having a chat? I don't know. So I had a little chat with him. You know, not, not wanted to raise his suspicions. And then he uh, just got back in his car and then left. So I don't know what he was doing at all. I don't know if he was just a local thinking, well, I don't recognise that car. I don't know. But then I had to find my phone. And my phone was exactly where I sat down the first time I got in the car. I put it down and it went under a blanket and I couldn't find it everywhere. I spent 15 minutes looking for it. So I still haven't cooked anything yet. So I need to get something on now because I'm starving. Well, let's see what we got to eat. I don't really want them. I've got some chicken flavour noodles. So you can't see them, can you, though? Because the light isn't really good in here, is it? Because 
I wasn't planning on doing this in the car, cooking. So I think that's it. That's what I'm going to have to have. It's just the easiest thing to do, really. I've got a cup of soup in there if I get hungry later. I've got some biscuits. But I've got this tray. It's an old baking tray. And what I did, I put some non-stick. Can you see that non-stick? Slippy, like non-stick rubber mat that you put down. Stop things slipping. Well, I glued it to the tray. And I used to use it in my roof tent to do a coffee on. So basically put the jet boil on. So it wouldn't slide. And obviously in case I spill anything, it doesn't go everywhere. So it was in this box and I thought, okay, yeah, I'll get that out. So I'm kind of making a little table. So I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make this work. I had to go and get some water. I'm not very stealthy though, I have to keep getting out. Because everything's not here, in this seat. Not the camera, you're there. <laughs> and you're sort of on a wonk, and I can't get a nice, because it's on the bed, I can't get a nice, I can't get a nice uh, place to put the camera. So, I'm gonna have to just make this work, so bear with me. It wasn't a planned, this wasn't planned. Let's get the jet boil lit. Try not to burn the car down. <laughs> Whoa. That's a bit that's a bit bloody hot on the roof lining. Could feel that was quite close. Yeah, that's alright. Oh dear. And yes, I've got the windows on vent now. So I'm not too worried about uh Killing myself. I've got all four windows all cracked open a bit. Because I've got the window deflectors, you know, the wind deflectors, whatever you call them. I don't even know what they're called. Wind deflectors, are they? Yeah, I've got those. So let's get that boiled and get some dinner. Right, well, that's boiled. Leave them in there for a few minutes. That was a good move getting this tray actually. Let's open the door, let a bit of steam out. If there's anyone there. Don't really want it to steam up any more than it already is, do I? That's why I crack the windows a little bit, because I don't want it to steam up condensation, because then people know I'm in here. I don't know whether to put the window, front window shade in. I've got a front window shade, but I don't know where to put it in. I kind of think they're a bit of a giveaway that you're in the car though, because unless it's summer, which it now isn't, it's October, people don't really uh, use them when the weather's not sunny. If it was sunny, yeah, I could get away with it, but people are thinking, why has he got that in there? They might know I'm in here. Would they? Do you think they would? Do you think people would think you're sleeping in your car? If it was a van, they would, wouldn't they? Maybe not your car. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know on that one. What do you think? Do you think people expect you to be sleeping in your car? Pretty sure they don't, do they? <sighs> How's this looking? Hungry now. Oh, I put too much water in, didn't I? Couldn't see properly what I was doing. That's really watery. I suppose I can drain it off. Yeah, I've got little holes in the top of the jet boiler lid. See them? Can you, can you hear that wind and rain? I'm sure there's another storm coming. Really bad. It's lashing it down like crazy rain, then stops and there's nothing. I've been doing it all day. Oh, I got them drained off. Let's see them out of here. I don't think I should have done more now. Doesn't seem like there's enough. Hmm. I do like these though, they are nice.
Funny thing is, I don't really like using my jet boil because now it will taste of super noodles if I want to do a cup of tea. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get them eaten and then I suppose I've got to get my bed get my bed ready what I thought I'd do before I go to bed well before I get into bed should I say I might as well just watch a film when I'm sat here because it's like a little you know it's like, it's like a little seat it's not a little seat it's a seat um, so I thought oh yeah I'll watch them on Netflix I know you just hate it when you log in I don't know if you watch it, if you ever watch it on, on the browser. I'm trying to like go to continue watching and it's not there. I can't find continue watching. So I go all the way down and then it just takes me to the bottom. So I can't actually get to what I was watching. I'm actually watching, um, uh, this is just a recommended. I'm actually watching a, a series called One Piece. On Netflix, it's a live, live action anime. So you know anime, Japanese anime. Well, it's a live action version of an anime show. So I'm trying to find that because I've got one more episode to watch. So that's what I want to watch. You draw maps for me. You really good this is you should definitely watch this right i've got myself into bed so i'm gonna try and get my head down for a bit hopefully i can get a good night's sleep and i'll see you guys in the morning night well good morning everyone oh ah, another painful night in this bed oh yeah my back's killing me i thought i might have sorted it because i put a yoga mat underneath so it's like that thick yeah it's not that thick but i thought a yoga mat a bit of foam underneath so if the mattress goes down a little bit it won't be so bad and then i bought a quilted um, like a mattress protector it's a little quilted thing and uh, I've got an extra sheet on it I put like a teddy bear sheet on it I tested the mattress in the house and it didn't seem to go down so I thought oh that should be okay with all that there extras but no I woke up this morning feeling like I've been battered in the kidneys <laughs> so I'm not enjoying the sleep now in here so I need to try to um Maybe get a mattress topper. Memory foam mattress topper. That'll probably work. I did see one the other day, but it was only like 2.5 centimetres, which is about an inch. So I don't think that will probably be enough. I think I need like a three inch one or something probably. But the only thing, I didn't really want to do that because that's some extra. And the whole idea with this bed in here was that it was... um packable you know that you could pack it all away and then like you could pack the car up and it didn't take too much space a mattress topper obviously it's going to take quite a lot of space but then again i suppose i'll be leaving the bed up permanently maybe i don't know i just like things to be able to pack away and go back to normal so yeah but not enjoying the sleep i'm not enjoying the camp am i so i've got to get the sleep right the bed is the most important thing it's more important than anything on the plus side the quilt was good this uh, wool duvet that I, uh, that I bought, I did a little short video of it a couple of days ago. Uh, heavyweight wool duvet, quilt, comforter, whatever you want to call it. I, uh, I bought and it is really nice and warm and I wasn't cold or too hot or it was absolutely perfect. So I got something right. <laughs> that was brilliant. And I bought this uh, brush cotton cover look it's like a christmas there's a christmas theme i think it was only seven pound fifty from the range so yeah that was a that was a bargain so i definitely i was definitely buying that 
and it's nice because it's because it's brushed cotton so it's like it's really soft it's nice it's really lovely and cozy in here actually to be honest if i'd have had a nice mattress and it was comfortable it would have been perfect time to get up though and get a coffee brush my teeth and get some breakfast but i need to move from here it's a bit of a busy spot there's a lot of coming and going people coming and going walking dogs taxi driver pulled in to clean out his taxi i think people have been going to work they must have parked their cars here overnight so yeah i don't want to be out here making coffee and bringing attention to myself really so i'm going to move somewhere else and go and get coffee so let's go and get a coffee let's get moving first We've got some right little uh, tight, tight lanes in Devon and some floods. Well, I found a little spot next to a country road. It's like a little parking area. Oh. So I've managed to park the car there and I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and enjoy that lovely view. I've just pulled up and I've got the most amazing view. Look, check this out. Look at that view. I've decided to go for a little walk. Oh, how little it is, I don't know. I've no idea where I am. As in like, I've got no trail up or anything. I just you know, do my usual thing. I just go off for a little walk. It says public bridle way. So I can see that it's, um, it's a public walk because people have been pulling up here and taking dogs up here. So I'm assuming it's gonna be some sort of circuit. So let's go and see what we find. Let's go and check out some of this Devon countryside. Well, that's something I've never seen before. A mast up a tree. Look at that. How strange. I've never seen that. Never. And this little lane. Misty in the distance there, isn't it? Look at that, that looks like rain over there. It's obviously something for some cattle, isn't it? A bit slippy there. Wow. I've got to decide which way to go now. I think. Whoa, this is uh, very, very wet. Yeah, it looks like someone's been driving down here. It must be a tractor. Look at these tracks. It did say there was a sign that had half fallen down. I hardly did see it when I first drove in. 
it said no motor vehicles. And the horse would have drove up here. We come and check it out in the car. I'm assuming that's a tractor. It's driven down here. <laughs> I ended up with a bit of a bog fest, so I had to turn round at the bottom because it got really bad, I couldn't get past. I had to turn around and sort of come back. I was hoping I was going to do a nice little cir circuit, you know, like a little loop, but that wasn't the case. Check out, check out the state of my boots. Yeah, the state of me. <laughs> yeah, I nearly fell over as well. <laughs> and because I, I had the drone in my hand, <laughs> and I was trying to do some drone drone shots, I was trying to get some drone shots, and I just stood in. I was like, oh my god, I could feel the the mud and the damp creeping in. So I'm going to head back now, and I'm going to go back in. I think I'm going to make a bacon sandwich, maybe, and a cup of tea. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think, and I think this is a good point to end the video. And I've got to get myself sorted. I've got to try and find a tap somewhere, I think, try and clean my boots up because I'm planning on staying out for another couple of days. So, yeah, I don't have the kitchen sink with me. So, I've got to try and find a way to get cleaned. <laughs> so, hopefully, you guys like that video. Yeah, maybe it wasn't as interesting as some of the others. But it was what it was, or is what it is, as they say. So, if you did like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next week. Bye.